What's up everybody? My name is Ryan Krause and you're watching the Crucible Coachworks YouTube channel. The last video on this slant is we made this bumper extension. Well today, we're going to make this side, but the kicker is, is that we need to make it symmetrical. Now I get a comment very often, and by a comment I mean lots of comments, where people are asking how do I make my panel symmetrical? Well, today you're going to find out, so let's just get started. And Mark, this is the inside so I don't fold it the wrong way, because this is a mirror image of the pattern, so I'm gonna fold it this way, not that way this time. Let's see if I remember. All right, so these are profile gauges. We use these to get a profile, because, you know, it's profile gauge. So you just pop it against whatever you want, and then you get the shape, and then you can hold it up to whatever you're working on, and then compare it side to side or whatever. And that's kind of like the secret to getting a good symmetrical part on the side of the car. Um, so I'll show you. So I can just, when I get this peak here, so I'm gonna get it as level as I can. So this, this is kind of like that peak. I'm gonna get it a little sharper. So these are old gauges, so they don't always move the best. There you go. Now I have like that peak. I'm gonna need this peak here, and I don't want to run so much ran to last time where I didn't check it first and I was fighting it left and right. So what I'm gonna do then is I'm gonna use the table. Something like that. This is front bar. So now all I have to do then is I can lay this on the line and then I'll see when I have that shape or I can hold the tool up but sometimes you can't always trust the tool when you set it down because you might bump it and it won't be the same so I can always repeat it though. So that's the secret. Get that there. We'll go from here. See it still needs a little bit more yet. Good. There you go. A little bit of hammer and dolly, and it'll lay how I want it to. That's profile gauge, that's how you use it. And I'm gonna be using multiple size ones in this video to get both panels to match that side. Another kind of profile gauge. Perpendicular to the top. And that's how you can see how different it is. So now I need to make this panel match this profile across here.
do a little bit of adjustments here first. Stretch here, shrink there. Looks like it did. I'm gonna hammer that down a little bit. So I have the car fully leveled out, so I can use a laser level now for my lines across the car to make sure things are level. A laser level is another thing that I use very often and I'd highly recommend having. They're not terribly expensive and they're kind of invaluable. All right, I ran into an issue. Um, I had leveled the car out a long time ago and it's still leveled, I thought it wasn't here. Uh, my line wasn't fully symmetrical and what happened was the tail lights were being pushed down by the duck bill here and then they were putting pressure on the bumper and kind of making it skew a little bit. So I pulled them out. Um, it's okay, it's putting pressure because it's not fully finished out here but I didn't really anticipate that before I lasered it. So yeah, we're gonna recut it. <laughs> The secret to cutting plastic and urethane like this is to keep your saw at a lower speed. Keep this, then it keeps the blade cool and then it keeps it from melting. This side I cut with a doll blade that got hot and you can see how it like melted the edge and it came out all ugly. And this is the side I just did, it's a lot crisper. So if you keep it nice and cool, don't try to force it, it'll come out a lot better. All right guys, so we got our bumper extension done. Um, there's some planning that needs to be done in the end, but we'll get there when we get there. So both, both bumper extensions are now done and I went through and made sure they're symmetrical. Then we also cut the back side of the bumper down um, so that's fully level across the whole way across the bottom and we had a real step, we cleaned all that out and everything. Um, so what's next? We have a lot of little things to deal with. We have the edge of the quarter panel at the wing. We got to cap that off still. Uh, we got to make sure that the openings for the taillights are as they should be. We need to make sure the openings of the in quarter panel intakes are correct and symmetrical so we can make the duct work for that. And then once that stuff is done on the back end, I think we'll be about ready to weld the quarter panels on. So there's some things to look forward to in the next upcoming videos. And then also up front, the front bumper, I got to finish all that out. Um, we got to figure out some trim work up there. The fenders are pretty much done. Um, I got to finish the lower bottom caps of them. But then I got some rocker pieces to make too. But after all that, the metal work will be done and then we can get up through like epoxy primer, spray poly, the rest of the body work and bring it up through paint. So we're gonna be plowing through all this. So there's things to look forward to in the upcoming videos. Also, uh, if you have not watched the last video, make sure you check it out because you may have won a keychain and not known it. Um, so make sure you watch the last video, watch till the end. And then contact us if you want a keychain so that we can send it out to you. We'll be trying to put out slant nose videos twice a week. Uh, we'll see, uh, it may be once a week depending on um, what's going on in the shop and trying to keep up with uh, getting the car done. Uh, but we will keep rolling along and getting these updates out to you guys as soon as we can. So thanks for watching everybody. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all those things. Show your support in the comments. Tell us what you want to see in the next video. Uh, maybe any details of the vehicle. If you have any questions on the build, drop them in the comments and the biggest ones I will go through and maybe I'll respond to the next video. So stay tuned guys for more updates. Later. Thank you.